Yes, it's Password. Now, here's your host on Password, Alan Ludden. Well, thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to our special Armed Forces Week. How are you, Rog? Just fine. How are you, Alan? Hello, Chris. Hi. I know that you're a disc jockey on radio for the Armed Forces, but they must send pictures over there. And, and, and did you wear the miniskirts in your pictures? You bet I do. I have a television show there, too. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. And you wear the miniskirts? You bet. She has on a miniskirt now, and you can't see it with all this desk, so would you mind just walking around the desk <laughs> sure and showing my friends at home about okay. your miniskirt? This is the miniskirt she's wearing today. You know what it is? What is it? It's oilcloth. It's oilcloth is what it is. She made she... What'd you do? Make it out of an old tablecloth? I didn't, but I sure could. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. That's what the boys are listening to and watching in Vietnam. <laughs> it keeps their morale up, all right? Say, young man, I was talking to you the other day about doing a Broadway show. Would you do a Broadway show? I certainly would. Do you have anything in mind? No, but I think it'd be a great idea. We'd like to have you here in New York. Why don't you and I do the odd couple? Which then uh, <laughs> well, that's not a bad idea. I've been thinking about doing that. All right. Let's meet our first two contestants now in our tribute to the Armed Forces Week. Chris Noel, your first partner today, has been in the United States Navy three and a half years. He served aboard the USS Essex and is now the communication center officer of the 3rd Naval District, Lieutenant J.G. David Butler. <laughs> Roger Smith, your first partner while serving in Vietnam with the Marine Corps as an artillery liaison officer was wounded in a Viet Cong ambush. For this action, he received the Navy Commendation Medal and the Purple Heart, Captain Donald Angel. And Lieutenant Butler. It's a privilege to have you here to play Password. Let's see, what did you do aboard the Essex, Lieutenant Butler? Well, I was a weapons officer on the carrier, and I also uh, stood watch as kind of ship. Well, fine. Nice to have you here to play Password, and uh, just watch the game. Don't watch the miniskirt, yes. all right? <laughs> Captain Angel, how long were you stationed in Vietnam? A year and a day. A year and a day. Right, I counted. You counted, <laughs> fine. Well, it's certainly a privilege to have you here, and I... We will study those medals a little bit later, but right now we're gonna, we're gonna have a message for you, right? We'll play password right after this password. You ready? Mm -hmm. Chris Noel, Roger Smith, have the word and as they look at it. The password is snug. Chris, see if you can get Lieutenant Butler to say that word for 10 points. Close. Close. You want to say it again? All right, one more time, Chris. Close. Close. Snuggle. Snuggle. You have given me, roughly, a form of the word we're seeking, Lieutenant. One chance to give me the precise word. Loosely, a form of the word, he said. Five seconds. Snug. Yes! I was hoping for snugging. It couldn't be gold, could it? <laughs> Yeah, it had to be snug. All right, snug to snuggle, snug. All right, you did 10 points worth right there. Now you'll give the clues this time, Captain. You'll start, so there's the word. Lieutenant? Got it? The password is engraving. Got it open? All set, Captain, 10 points. Etching. Painting? Painting, nine points, Lieutenant. Metal. Metal. Hmm. Uh, bronze? No. Eight points, Captain. Scribing. Engraving. Yes. Engraving. Very good. But I said painting because I always say, come up and see my etchings, and I really mean my paintings, you see. Is that what you say? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I always say, by the way, when you hear this sound... It means your clue has not been accepted by our authority, who is Dr. Reason A. Goodwin, an editor of the World Book Encyclopedia Dictionary. All right. Ten to eight. And as they look at it. The password is support. Start with you, Chris. Ten points will give you twenty. Help. You may say that again. Help. Help. Five seconds, Lieutenant. Assistance. Assistance. Nine points, Roger. Give you seventeen. 
Brace. Brace. Prop. Prop? No. Eight points, Chris. Command. Five seconds, Lieutenant. Hold. Hold. Seven points, Roger. Five seconds. Hold. Hold. Grasp. Grasp. Six points, Chris. Uh, brace. Support. Yes. <laughs> Very good. That's a difficult word, you know. Try that word at home. 16 to 8. We'll return in a moment. Right now, let's watch this, shall we? Okay, Captain, you have eight points. Lieutenant, you have 16 points, which means you can win on that. The password is sport. Ten points, Captain. Football. Um. Five seconds. Game. Game. Nine points. Give you the game. Illustrated. Illustrated. Hmm. Player? Player, no. Eight points, Captain. Game. Five seconds, right? Sports. Yes. Sports. <laughs> I'll take the floor. Can you put a basket for one No, no, on, on plurals and singulars, we just take oh, the plural or the you. singular. Thank you very sport, much. Sport, sports, 16 to 16. Either team can win on this, but Chris, you had the first shot at it, so I'll give you the clue. Word first. There you go. As they look at the word, it might be it. We'd like you to see it. The password is cling. Okay, 10 points. Chris will give you the game. Hang. Hang. Five seconds, Lieutenant. Embrace. Embrace, no? Nine points to give you the game, Roger. Vine. Cling. Yes. Yeah. What game did you? You added them up, huh? Yeah. Clinging vine. Use your head there, Donald, and won the game. Dave, let's see, Donald won. Donald won, all right. Donald has $100, a chance to win 250 in the lightning round. You ready to go, yeah, Roger? Ready to go, ready to go. One minute. Here's the first word. Go. Um, infant. Child. Um, infant. Baby. Yes. Um, shirt. Blouse. Uh, top. Collar. Yes. Um, uh, wool. Lamb. Yes. Um, um, it's um, a board. Plank. Children, seesaw. Yes. Hard, soft. Hard, tough. Difficult. Difficult. Strenuous. Opposite. Easy. Yes. Listen, buddy. Roger. Captain Angel was a very good partner there, but Roger, you were given very good clues. Your lightning run has gotten better and better as this week has worn on. And Donald, Captain Donald Angel, our Purple Heart and Silver Star win... No, Navy no. Accommodation. Naval, Naval, Naval accommodation. Not that high. Naval accommodation winner, Marine Captain, has won $350. He's an angel, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> Which is the Navy accommodation? The it's the, that's, that's the, green. the green one with the V. Combat v that, that's the combat V. All right, sir. Lieutenant Butler, Lieutenant J.G. David Butler, you may still win some money. Captain Angel, you may win more. If you'll change partners, we'll play your second game. We'll return in a moment. Right now, here's a word. And now, back to Password and Alan Ludden. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are winding up what has been a very happy week, playing Password with st guest stars and guests from the Armed Forces. The lady on my right is the only lady disc jockey the Armed Forces have had since World War II. She is Chris Noel. 
The gentleman on my left, who's been playing a whale of a password game all week, is a fine actor. You've seen him in Sunset Strip and Mr. Roberts, and you've seen him playing his guitar. His name is Mr. Roger Smith, of course. <laughs> Lieutenant Butler is with Roger, and Captain Angel is with Chris. And before we move along, may I just say that we of Password have certainly owe a great debt of gratitude to the fine cooperation to the armed forces, the personnel who have helped us in selecting these contestants all this week. We are very grateful to all the gentlemen who have helped us in the armed forces and ladies in the armed forces this week. Thank you very much. <laughs> Without your help, we have never had these good contestants. Okay, Roger, you start this time. Chris, there's the word, and as they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is tassel. Ten points, Roger. See if you get Lieutenant Butler to say that word. Tissel? Tassel. Tissel, tassel. What in the world's a tissel? I don't know. <laughs> all right, it's the opposite of tassel, huh? All right. Okay. I'm not explain the word. No, all right. Captain, watch out. There you go, Lieutenant. As they look at it. The password is rotate. Ten points, Captain. Spin. Spin. Chris? Spun. Spin, spun. No. Nine points, Lieutenant. Turn. Whirl. Whirl. Eight points, Captain. Revolve. Circle. Circle. Seven points, Lieutenant. Revolve. Hmm. Revolve. Five seconds, Roger. Be dizzy? No. Six points, Captain. Around. Revolution? Revolution, no. Five points, Lieutenant. Door. Five seconds. Raj? Revolving. No. Four points, Captain. Move. Move. Five seconds, Chris. Around? No. Three points, Lieutenant. Gyrate. Twirl. Twirl. Two points, Captain. Circular. Five seconds, Chris. Ball? No. One point, Lieutenant. Five seconds. Revolve. Twist? No. <laughs> Must tell you the word. The word is rotate. 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 The clues were all accurate. Your responses were good. It's just that you didn't hit the right word. So I'll give you a new one. In just a moment. But with, right, we're just checking on the Don Angel's medals there, all right. Shall we go into a game? Here we go, Captain. New word. Okay. Lieutenant, new word. As they look at it, we'd like you to see it. The password is gorgeous. Ten points, Captain. Beautiful. <laughs> say it again. Gorgeous? Yes! <laughs> He's got two campaign buttons over there on his uh, ribbon, you know? I like, I, like, I like the way he said beautiful there. New word. Nice. You liked it, huh? Yeah. The password is snarl. Ten points, Roger, I'll give you 20. Growl. Growl. That's what That's he what said. I said. Oh, you said growl. <laughs> All right, you may have another response. I'll give you the answer, you give me the question. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, he's responded, I have to take it? All right. Nine points, Chris. Mean. Snarl. Snarl, right. <laughs> What did you think he said? Growl. He said growl? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick up the phone. Oh, I see. All right, 19 to 10. But you did hear him say growl. Well, huh? I didn't hear all right, well, then I'm going to be moved along properly. All right, Lieutenant and Captain have the word as we like. they look at it. The password is Army. You got the word? All right, Lieutenant, see if you can get Roger Smith to say that word. Army. That's it. Oh, no! Yeah, you're the, the Army Navy game and you had to say Army. That's the order you say it in. Yeah. You couldn't say Navy, huh? 
You had this... He gives the answers and we get the questions. Yeah. <laughs> I got a booby pro... You've got a new game going there. All right. All right. Yes, throw that one away. We, we, that, we, we blew that one, as it were. All right. Is everybody back? Let's play it the way we've always played it. Right. I can understand if Chris was his partner, but I can't. All right. Okay. Here we go. What's well, your green eyes of yours? All right. Lieutenant and Captain, have the word. We'd like you to see it. The password is skipper. Ten points, Lieutenant. Don't just give him a clue, huh? Captain. Captain. Five seconds. Officer. Officer. Nine points, Captain. Slang. Slang. Give me the game, Chris. Five seconds. Sergeant. Sergeant. No. <laughs> No, that, <laughs> that's slang, huh? That, that's <laughs> slang for captain. Uh, eight points, Lieutenant. Ships. Skipper. Yes. Chris, um, as long as you've been with the military, you're calling that uh, there's, there's something wrong about that. Okay. 18 to 19, but I won't explain it. As they look at the word, we'd like you to see it. The password is curve. Ten points, Chris. See if you can get the captain to say that and you'll have the game. <laughs> Body. Figure. Body figure. Nine points. Roger will give you the game. Five seconds. Figure. Five seconds, Lieutenant. Curvaceous. Roughly a form of the word. You've said curvaceous. We have, you have one chance to give me the precise word, and you'll have the game. Curve. That's it. All right, David. You're from curvaceous. You went right down to curve, and you got it. Isn't it interesting that in playing this game with these two gentlemen, they not one of them thought of the highways. They not one of them thought of the geometric figure. Or not one of them thought of baseball. They just thought of the figure that is usually associated with a lady, a woman, as it were, right? And it worked, uh, to no one's surprise. David, you've just won $100. You have a chance to win 250 in the lightning round. You ready to go, Roger? Ready to go. One minute. Here's the first word. Go. Um, piano. Keys. Church. Organ. Yes. Uh, tie. Pin. Uh, bow. Knot. Yes. Um, Animal, goat, water, uh, crocodile, <laughs> fins, fish. Yes. Um, uh, plug, cord, uh, current, electricity, electric. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, dry, wet. Very good. <laughs> All right, Lieutenant. Yeah. David, you have won $350. Captain Angel, you have won $350. Do you have any particular intentions for that money? Yes, Cap I'm going to put it in the bank. You're going to put it in the bank. <laughs> That's a nice practical way to put it. How are you gonna, what are you going to do with it, Lieutenant? Do you have any plans? Well, I think my wife can tell you, but she's not here. <laughs> oh, your wife has plans for it. Well, that's always a good way to work it out. But Captain, we have a moment here. I would like to have one thing explained to me. We have, you have two ribbons here. If you're watching this in color, this one is green, and this one is the... Uh, the, uh, the yellow one is the... Yes. What? That's the... That's the Vietnamese service ribbon. The Vietnamese service presented ribbon. Presented by the United States government. The other, the green one, is the Vietnamese campaign ribbon, which is presented by the South Vietnamese government. I see. To all men serving over there for how long? Uh, six months, or they can't have been there uh, a shorter time, but have been wounded. I see. And, the, and this emblem, this on top of the ribbon means... That just comes on the ribbon? What, the little silver device? Yes. Uh, that little scroll has a 1960 on it, or the, the figure 60, and then a dash, which means the war in the sense of the South Vietnamese government started in 1960, and it hasn't ended yet. Oh, we'll be glad when that dash. other number is there, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes. All right, I'm certainly proud to have you gentlemen here to play password with us. It's been a very interesting week. We'll return in just a moment. Right now, here's a message for you. Roger. Good luck in your projects in the future. Thank we you. hope you'll stick around, New York. Come back to the password. Thank Chris, good luck with your new radio show. Thank you. Keep playing those records for those boys in the armed forces for us, will you? Sure will. It has certainly been a great week. Gentlemen, 
David and Don, you're being the last ones here to represent the Armed Forces. I must tell you, it's been a real thrill for all of us to have you gentlemen and ladies of the Armed Forces to play pastor. It's been one of the best weeks I've ever had around good here. Good players, aren't they? Yes, they've been very good players. It's been a real privilege to have you here. Here are a few of the stars seen regularly on Password, and I'm sure many of your favorites are among them. So I hope you can join us each week for new stars and good fun on Password. We'd like to see you all on Monday. Happy. It's a happy weekend, but remember, it's always more worthwhile if you pause to say thank you as you worship with your family. So long. See you Monday, I hope. Specially designed for the B-set of American tourist luggage. Reinforced with fiberglass, with padded handles and stainless steel closures. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Codman production. The contestants on this recorded and edited program were selected and interviewed in advance.